This is the audio log of Engineer Sam Harding, dated April 5th, 2145. I have just completed repairs on the magnetic locks and have significantly reprogrammed the pressure sensors on the monorail systems. My fellow engineers and I are confident that the accident of last week will never happen again. The accident should never have happened in the first place. The internal sensors led the computers to believe that there was a vacuum inside the vehicle. Unfortunately, the computer decided that the only way to fix this pressure discrepancy was to open all doors in an attempt to equalize pressure with the outside. I'm going over 15,000 lines of code today. I can see no reason for this tragic event to have occurred. But somehow, the logs show the discrepancy is clear as day. Honestly, this looks to me like another case of a solid system going to hell in a handbasket. I'm confident that the layers of protection I added to the code today prevent any such occurrences from happening again. I'm off to meet Engineer Jim Torben at the access doors to the Delta Complex platform to try and troubleshoot a faulty track sensor that's been causing the door to stick. Now leaving Environmental Reprocessing Center. Next stop, Site 2. Who are you? What are you doing? I was waiting here on the train for my partner. He went to investigate what was going on, but he never came back. And now I don't I don't know where he is. I don't know what the hell's going on. But I bet it has to do with those artifacts we were digging up inside too. I bet they're somehow connected with those things in the Delta complex. Remember, safety first. Please do not exit the vehicle without wearing proper environmental protection. In the event of an emergency stop, Marsec will be dispatched immediately for your safety. Have a nice day. Now entering Site 2. Warning, airlock malfunction. Please contact engineering to facilitate repairs. Thank you, and have a nice day. Thank you. 
Engineering, please report to Site 2 access ramp. Airlock malfunction detected. This is the audio log of Charles Hollis, EAP Director, dated September 5th, 2145. In order to conserve current life support resources, effective October 1st, 2145, the Council has made a decision that all environment processors be brought offline in the general area of Site 2. Tomorrow, I will be sending out emails to all team leaders asking for an update on their asset relocation program to Site 3. We feel that we have unearthed enough useful material as it pertains to the project from Site 2, and choose to now devote resources in the exploration of Site 3. End log recording. Airlock security override enabled.
engineering, please report to Delta Complex Access Ramp. Track sensor failure detected.
Warning. Automated turret guns online. Warning. Automated turret guns online. Attention. Automated turret guns offline. <laughs> 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 